الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم One of the beautiful statements of the Salaf of this Ummah or our Salaf, those who preceded us in righteousness from the scholars like Ibn Al-Qayyum and Sam'ani قال وكان سبب في اتفاق أهل الحديث أنهم أخذوا دين من من الكتاب وصنة وطريقة النقل فأورثهم الاتفاق وإتلاف وأهل بدع أخذوا دين من عقولهم فأورثها التفرق واختلاف فإن النقل فإن النقل ورواية من الثقات ومتقنين إلا ما تختلف وإن اختلفت في لفظ أو كلمة فذلك الاختلاف لا يضر في الدين Here's some beautiful statements of Sam'ani رحمه الله Regarding the difference with Ahlul Sunnah and the difference between Ahlul Bid'a, with regards regarding to, with regards to Kitabi wa Sunnah. Qala rahimahullah taala. He said. He said, and the reason for the agreeance or the consensus with Ahlul Hadith is that they took. From they took their deen from the Quran and the Sunnah, from Kitab and Sunnah, and the tariq and nakal, meaning that they and also the the path of the narrators, you know, of, of knowing uh, the the isnad and so forth, the the chain of narration. So then they inherited from that. Consensus and unity, whereas Ahl Bida, the people of desires and innovation, they took their deen from their intellect, and as a result of that, they had differences and breaking and, div- and division. For verily, the the narrators or the narrations. And the path of the chain of narrators from, uh, and the path of narration from the thaqat, from those people who were trustworthy, and those people who were uh, well grounded rarely differed. So, Ahl Hadith. Ahl Sunnah, Ahl Athar, they don't differ like that. There may be minor issues, but they don't differ in, in creed and in Whereas, and, that, and, and the reason being is because they take from Kitab wa Sunnah, and they take from the Salaf of this Ummah. However, Ahl Bid'ah, the people of desires, the people of innovation, who innovate in the religion of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the religion of Allah, Tabarak wa Taala, the Creator of the heavens and earth? Those people who innovate that they differ in the religion and they break into groups and sects and. This is because they followed their own intellect and their own desires with regards to the religion. Instead of going back to the sources and adhering strongly to Kitabillah, wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that's the difference between Ahl Thiq fi Din, the people of understanding and Thiq in the religion, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the people who, the people of the Sunnah and the group, the main body of Muslims. Or the scholars, 
the scholars of Ahl Sunnah, the scholars of Ahl Hadith, who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on fiqh and basira, with insight and hikmah and wisdom and knowledge, and refer back to those sources. Those sources are the how they, they understand the religion. And those sources and the path and the minhaj or methodology they take is the way of the Salaf of this Ummah. Those people are the Muflihun. Because they didn't divide Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion. They were the ones who inherited and followed the statement of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata khulafa rashidin al mahdeen they're the ones they inherited the khair because they followed the statement of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said it is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat this was their, their methodology they didn't curse the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum they didn't accuse the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum they didn't fight against the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu. They don't make it a part, a pillar of their faith and their religion to attack and slander the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum. But rather, they follow the path of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu and know that they were the best of this ummah and that they're the asl of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. That's what Ahl Hadith does. That's what Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah does. Those are the people that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لَا تَزَوْ طَيْفَةٌ مِّنْ أُمَّتِي ظَاهِرِينَ لَا حَقِّ حَتَّى يَأْتِيهُمْ أَمْرَ اللَّهُ هُمْ عَلَى ذَلَكَ وَكَمَا قَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَى عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There won't cease to be a group amongst my nation that is successful. No one will harm them even if they differ with them until the day of judgment. Letting us know that they'll be successful. That's who Ahl Sunnah is. That's who Ahl Jihad is. That's who Ahl Ahl Athar is. And that's who we want to be. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And bless us to be of those people who Allah is pleased with. Those people who follow Kitabillah. Wa sunnatu rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.